once more, the French fashion season is underway, and some of the world's most beautiful models try to make themselves even more beautiful as they prepare for critical eyes and adoring gazes in the service of haute couture. No. January in Paris means original creations for spring and summer are unveiled by the local fashion houses for the millions who can't and the few who can afford to buy them. And the occasion attracts the other beautiful people, the stars of the film firmament, who just happen to be where the focus of attention is, and the camera. Along with those who will copy the designs for the masses. For Chanel, designer Karl Lagerfeld was expected to introduce something provocative, and he didn't disappoint. A test for the wearers to negotiate the catwalk, this section drew criticism that he's bored and just ridiculing women. The controversial couturier denied this. He said the design flatters the narcissism of the famous models who can be recognized by the very way they move. protest came when Lagerfeld used a verse from the Holy Quran as a motif. In deference, he promised to destroy the offending dresses and asked the media to eliminate all images. Much more sensitive use of Arabic or Middle Eastern influence was made by Emmanuel Ungaro. to really demonstrate their individuality. to earth atmosphere, five supermodels prepare to be photographed naked for an anti-fur advertisement. We are human beings and we, we, are, we do own the rights of our own bodies and we don't ha we're not mannequins so we do have a little say in what we want to wear. In this case it's a banner claiming that they'd rather go naked than wear fur. A sentiment shared by many who are on hand to witness their okay, offer to be photographed fully for the course. Three, two, three, two, three. 